organism has to have a high energy membrane to survive the higher cosmic energies. And that's nature's way every so many millions of years of kind of sifting out the lower vibrational life forms. And because we now know, and in the old world, it was determined that energy systems were the ruler of physical systems. Einstein said the field is the governing agency of the particle. But Max Planck, Einstein's mentor, there would be no Einstein without Planck, Planck was the Nobel Prize winner who believed the universe was conscious. And he didn't just believe that because he had a theory. He saw a lot of data that proved that consciousness affected subatomic systems. The new emerging sub, you know, quantum physicists now believe that it's information, organized or disorganized information, that tells energy to tell matter what to do. So we know that if a person is a lower vibration in consciousness, their matter, they're not going to have the ability to tell their matter, their DNA, to, to be able to survive in a high energy environment. So it doesn't necessarily mean, if 2012 is about an energy shift and not a huge dramatic, you know, earth changing series of events, then you don't have to see this massive amount of energy to cause that change. What happened on December 22nd, 20, 2010, that everybody missed, only a few friends of mine saw it, because the USGS takes down the data. I, I grabbed a screenshot of all those earthquake sensors all going off at the same time, regardless of their distance from each other. And then the storm erupting on Saturn, and then you know all these other changes in the solar system. That's enough energy right there to change everybody's DNA. And, and, That's amazing. And, and it means the new children, because their DNA is a rapid factory of telling the RNA to build proteins and build a new brain and a new consciousness based on that information. So it may have already happened, and nobody would notice, because it was so subtle and so, uh, so overlooked. You can definitely treat water. Um, another way to turn your body into a super battery is increase your magnesium, calcium, and a little bit of lithium, which uh, which we use in earth batteries. It's it's actually we're just like batteries. We, you know, we have copper, zinc, and you know, gold and silver and iron and and all the minerals in our bodies. And some people who I've measured their body voltages are really low. They they suffer from depression, but they also um, can easily improve their state just by taking good quality minerals. Because minerals, if you take uh, water, we're basically water and, and flesh and carbon, and if, a pers if you take water that has no minerals or demineralized water, electrical current doesn't move through it very well at all. But when you have good potassiums and salts and minerals in your water, you run electrical current and it really is highly conductive stuff. So we're just like that. Our energy system really falls apart if we don't get enough minerals in our diet. They're almost more important than, than the vitamins. It's clearly any nervous system disorder usually exhibits a, a very low body voltage, but also with extreme um, personality disorder or bipolar. If a person has a deep trauma in their life, they will fry their battery because of the extreme emotions. And if they keep... Um, obsessive compulsive on those emotions they're going to keep running their battery dry so such persons really need to either clear those emotional patterns or really recharge their battery by taking really good minerals and doing different types of things to heal their nervous system because they uh, even a car accident which I, I've been in a number of them in Los Angeles thank God I don't live there anymore the drivers are so bad um, and really ruined me and caused me tremendous pain. Um, and pain itself is a trauma, and it can really fry your batteries dry. And But now I have some of the highest voltages on anybody I've ever seen, and they're not, they're harmonic voltages. Now, just increasing energy alone is not necessarily, you know, the right thing to do. You want the energy increase to be har harmonized um, higher energy, not just a, a blast of energy. So... So we have to look at different ways of doing it in a very, very harmonic way. David, what an extraordinary pleasure it's been to speak with you for these hours tonight. I certainly hope that we can do it again. Would you give us uh, your website details uh, just one more time? Yes, uh, 
uh, my new film, Hope for Humanity, is at voiceentertainment.net, and it covers a lot of what we talked about tonight. That's voiceentertainment.net. It's on the Coast to Coast site. And my pendants are at Lightstream Technologies, plural, lightstreamtechnologies.com. And, John, it's been great talking to you and getting to know you a bit. I'd love to chat with you more. We'll do it. We'll do it. Thank you very much.